Hey everybody, we're back, Jim Bob Gaming, with more Mass Effect. I, I am. Um, we live in an interesting place last time. We are literally trying to prove that Seren is not what the council, who the council believe he is, and that he's not a, you know, good Turian. So that's where we are. We did some um, bits around the cit Citadel, the markets, um, was it C Sect, the security. Um, and we found some um, some information. So that being said, we're going to jump up straight back into this awesome game. Um, if anybody has any tips or advice for me, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I will engage with you uh, more. But I'm um, beyond excited for us just to jump straight in and play more Mass Effect. Okay, so I literally swapped to uh, for Tally and obviously for Ash in my. Um, my group, my uh, my team, I guess. And this is where we left off. So there's a computer console here that we can do an easy decryption on. So let's do a manual override on this. Circle, triangle, circle, square. Easy. Easy peasy at the second. Alliance patrol reports. Captain H Hendrickson reports some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Royal Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Okay, so seeing as we're starting to get used to the buttons, the controls, and everything else, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so we need to head, is it back to the Citadel? To, to the tower. I think we might need to like, actually head back to. The one thing I did here, uh, and let me know if it's correct, that in Mass Effect, like side side jobs or side quests are like really important uh, for like later on in the game. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment? Of yeah. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm, I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Rawley was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused uh, my that's request. garbage. Did they say why? Um, let me help. I can put in a word with the embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. Of course. The respect she deserves. Okay, Jeno. So... Um, journal. You've been evoked by. He seemed like a harmless fan. <laughs> Let's hope he is. A reporter um, has asked you for help covering corruption on the Citadel. Fists OSD. So, do, are, are we going to go and give that to her? Maybe? Have a look. Just ready to return his wife's body. Okay. Good day, Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. Commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable. Hey, okay, personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Okay, goodbye. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Okay, let me take a look then. Okay, so I think what I'll do next is I'll... Let's up... The talents for Tally. 
Uh, let's see, we've got Aquarium Machine-ish. Increases tech resistance, which could actually be useful and be good, actually. Obviously, basic armor. Uh, able to equip light armor, increases damage protection. Pistols. And um, basic armor there. I feel like that's... Yeah. Oh, that undid everything, okay. Decryption. Plus aid unlocked. And there we go. I feel like I want that because it was basic armor for her. So I feel like I want to get that as high up at the minute as I can. I think, anyway. Ah, oh, so that's the plot. So is there... Do we... Go around this way? Just want to take a look around. To see sec a cam a day. Um uh, here. That takes to financial district. Oh that's just I think that's just a statue. Okay, let's go this way. Oh there's like a exclamation point there. Is that the point is that the one we need to go to? Yeah, that's the one we do need to go to. But we're not gonna do that one yet. So we're gonna exit out of this little section for now, I think. I wanna take a look around. Rapid transit. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? And be more open minded. You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Uh, let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You. <laughs> okay, let's try talking to the preacher Hanar. So this is what Hanar is then. Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers, or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Uh, what's the problem? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Okay, this is the way to investigate. Um, I'd like to help. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one go <laughs> with success. Okay, let's try. Let's do it. Any progress with that Hanar? Let the Hanar talk. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Okay, well, I bought a permit. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue. Okay. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Um, not yet. I'll keep working on it. This one will continue to... Yeah, you, you do what you need to do. Okay, so I guess that's like a new thing. Okay, so I feel like we just need to like, okay, so that's, ah, it actually pops up and tells you, Bosco, talk with, was there any more here? Can I like change, I don't think I can change like the level, or can I, okay, if I can't, I might just go on to like another section, I, over here, the rapid transit.
world locations. Um, market? Was it market? Was this the one? Oh, the little information. Okay, well, this is one. Yeah. Okay, so I just need to head to this door. Okay, she's just over here. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. What's that? We did it. sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Desks. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander. For your oh. trouble. Um, you owe me more. I can offer more. It was no problem. Fine, no problem. I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay. Ah, level up. Ah, okay. So we've done that. By oh, the looks of it, we've done it anyway. Citadel, unusual readings. I wonder what I have to do for this one, the fan. He seemed like a harmless fan. So is there more we have to do when we're gathering this fan? Um, I want to go into squad and okay, Okay, let's do Ooh, Shepherd for us. So I'm going to do one in for infiltrate, one for charm. I want to get pistols up. I want to get tactical armor up. Or oh, decryption. Let's do decryption. Decryption. <laughs> decryption. Mind my language. Okay. So, Ash. Uh, four points here. Okay. So, soldier. Increase health. Assault training. Combat armor. And. Pistol. We've not like we've only just Oh for Zaid. No not that's probably gonna be handy for her. There we go. I feel pretty good. I feel good with that everybody. Okay, so I am getting like a bit of a clue here what I'm needing today. So I just need to move around and check the map and look for the exclamation marks. Because according to this section, there doesn't seem to be... Oh, this tells us to the lower wards. To lower wards. Transit. To CSEC. Okay, so we're here. So we're going to go around... We can go to the lower what or lower markets. Lower markets, maybe. Just take a look to see if there is anything. Okay, then we've got Citadel Transit, Upper Wards, Upper Wards. Okay, so we'll head back up. And let me see what the other section was. So, Loma, and then it was that way. Can we not get that way? Do we have to go the long way around to the lower wards? Okay, so we're gonna go, I have to go all the way around. Do this just so we can try to finish off like some of these um bits that we need to do before we head off to where we know we need to go next to flux
So we can start with going this way. And I think it's this way. Let's have a look. Is that? Oh yeah, we're back. Oh, yeah, we did come to the lower worlds before, but there wasn't much there. Okay, so swap head, uh, market, med clinic, C sec. I think this one, we're, this video, we're gonna try to like focus on figuring out and doing some of these side bits and then we're gonna go and do the um the talking I think. To Docking Bay. Maybe we could go to Docking Bay. Could potentially be uh in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh, okay. Okay, there's nothing that we need here. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers... Okay, we'll skip that bit. I'm going to do a check to see what, exactly what we've done. So we've given the information over to that journalist. Um, the fact. Assignments, missions. Okay, okay, here we go. So we can go across to missions or assignments. Because this, can we do... Assignments again later. Presidian Prophet. So that's the Citadel though. Okay, let's go this way. Has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with. But very curious where this story goes because, like, Mass Effect, the trilogy of Mass Effect, always seems to be like one of those big trilogies that everybody like talks about. Bosco, talk with diplomat. I'm just taking a look as well, everyone. Okay, so that's the AI. We solved the dispute, so we need to buy a um, a permit. I wonder if it's like an easier way to... Um... Yeah, so that's the one, that's the main story, isn't it? Okay, so I guess towards access cit Citadel. To what? We've been to the wards though, haven't we? To Citadel Tower. Is it Citadel Tower we need to go? Citadel Tower. Maybe. Okay, let's let's check this out. But as I think now that we're still trying to like get to grips with certain like you know like oh how to find this and how to find like this um side objective, but I think we are gonna definitely um get there. It's a learning curve. And normally, if this was maybe if this was like another game with side stuff and trying to find it, I'd probably like edit it and cut bits out. But because I've heard like how 
how much like a lot of the side content apparently like you know like features into Mass Effect and how it connects to the story and other stuff later on I feel like it is probably like probably worth actually just looking around taking our time with it and just do what we can with this keep up can we can we Ah, so they're called keepers. Okay, so to Citadel Tower. Am I heading in the right direction? This should hopefully return to the tower. Are we meant to go this way? Well, we're here now, so let's return to this bit. We are in this bit, and there's only like the one exclamation mark, so we're just gonna head forward. Oh, hey, you think he's up to something? No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselors, Commander. Let's take a look to see if there's anybody here. Okay, it doesn't look like this. I'm going to take a look just in case there is anybody of like interest here. Okay, so these doors don't open. Okay, so this is where we started. Are you just a random person? Yeah. Okay, some random people. Okay, so let's head up these stairs. This is Captain Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. Okay, so we'll do we'll do this. Has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Um, who? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for us. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It isn't. Me, where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool, you doubted me before the weeps are real. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know we why. We do! The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 
50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet just, just, just deal with him. A fleet cannot track down one man. I mean, he is a Spectre, so... The entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human spec. Everybody's happy. Do it! Oh, okay. We did well there, Shepard. Shepherd, step forward. It's happening. It's happening. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged from the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self So good! Oh gosh! What's took me so long to play this? Instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find it? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. It's happened! Nice! Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Anderson, come oh, trophy. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. Yeah. Thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. Oh. So. Oh, this is like over equipment we've got. What is it? Oh, that's actually better. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, let's have a look what else we got. One for our table, which is higher. He think isn't. Oh no, he think is an um, accuracy waiting sixty six comes down. But I think it's sort of is better. Thing, uh, okay, we'll get rid of that one. I don't want that one. Awesome. Codex. Okay, you prove that Seren is connected with the Geth. As a reward, the Council has granted you Spectre status and commissioned you to track the rogue Spectre down. And we've got assignments. Okay, so let's take a look. So I guess now we can actually crack on and finish. Um, 
go and we can try and finish some of these um, assignments, side um, jobs. Oh, go off. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a That's lot wrong. on my mind. Maybe I can help. Mm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? More than I like. I'm Commander Shepard. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. That means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off okay. the ship. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Those are both bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. I'll do it. Um... Of a ship. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew, but he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely, but they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting. Okay, authorities? Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. Damn, we would. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Um, I'll do it. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Will do. Power guard plus two. Nice, okay. Let's continue on our way. Still got some bits to do. Here they come. They're coming. And then elevator. My people are wanderers, not military leaders. All this fighting seems strange. It must be more familiar for you, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. Yeah, it's just something that just happened, Tally. <laughs> okay, now we come back out here. I'm going to take a look. Okay, so we need to revolve, resolve this dispute. Uh, I think what we might do, actually, is come up over here. Set destination. There we go. We'll set destination so it's easy for us to get to it. And then we'll just keep checking the map. God, they're, they're still at it. We need to get this um, this permit. One thing at a time. Oh. Oh no, that's just uh, directions. So we need to go all the way around. So open this door. Is it like the same? Yeah, just continue heading straight. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to Yeah, I'm here, you? Foster Mesh. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man and an understandable... Anything we can do about this? I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. 
Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body She's toxic, you want to test, so she's been mauled, you want to test? You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I see your, I'll see, I see your point. I pass his arms to mesh the pavers, investigate, um, release in the body. This isn't right. Oh, oh, investigate, length of research. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or Damn, long. what are you doing with these bodies? You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable okay, and results of research. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study. Uh, a few years, so not like, you know, a week, two weeks. This isn't right. I'm releasing the body. I'm releasing the body. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Bacha, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the city. <laughs> Doesn't go to shape, all it. Going in shooting to get it? Um, she deserves better. Her, not it, her. The Marine's name was Nerali Bacha. If you want to cut her up, you call her by name. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Sinesh that the body is being shot. This is the Commander Shepard we're building, everyone. <laughs> he gets shit done when he needs to. He gets shit done. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. And bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest. And fill me in. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shayeras. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Hmm. Goodbye. Okay. I mean, we've not been to the. So long, Commander. Have a fun. I don't think we've been to. I don't have time to talk. Is it the I um the financial district? What do you want? Oh, Commander. What do you want? Is there something I could do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh... No, I never did. <laughs> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Hey, where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, then. <laughs> oh, gosh. Diplomat. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Why did you come to see me, Shepard? Did Ambassador Udina send you? And who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palum, head of CSEC. And you're the first human specter. Get used to people knowing who you are. At least around here. Okay, actually trust humans. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. The council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to. We're not favorites. The council treats us like second class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. 
But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. A busy man, Commander. Are we you know what? Here? No, we're not done here. Spectres. <laughs> what do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Oh, you don't like them. What do you have against the Spectres? Don't like humans. You don't like Spectres. Spectres. that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Spectres walk a slippery slope, Commander. Operate outside the law and it changes you. Look what happened to Saren. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of okay, spectres. Spectres are important. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren out of control. We both know that. But because he's a spectre, the council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? And he gets the job done. Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. If the cure is worse than the disease, what's the is point? Is that it? Oh, CSEC. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. And unlike the Spectres, we work within the bounds of the law. I'll be going. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't like humans. Who doesn't trust humans? He doesn't like Spectres, and we're human and a Spectre. So, lucky us. Lucky us. <laughs> Oh, there's like another exclamation. Oh, yeah, because we need to go back and talk to him, don't we? Let's go back and talk to him. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my You're preparations. Welcome. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh? I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. <laughs> oh, 170 XP. At least this game has like some nice XP as well. Um. So are we going straight across the bridge? Because is that the... Fi yeah, it is financial district. So, because we've done that... Right, so we've got two, we've got two um, assignments done. Um, so we've got the fan. Seemed like a harmless fan, but was he? We need a permit. Okay, so I feel like some of these are practically done. I feel like maybe see we can um, just go across to the financial districts and see what's of interest because we've not been over this section yet. I just want to see what's over here. Okay, so if I can take a look at the map now. Okay, so we're here. So there's consort chambers. There's maybe you know this bank. This is taking us back across. So, this is a um, city of Wapay Transport. Okay, but we'll see because you never know. There might be more uh, more assignments to be taken over here. And then we need to head towards CSEC, I believe. Oh, there's the um, sh 
shopkeeper. Got a moment, Specter? Hello, Specter. I have a business proposition for you. Good for you. <laughs> How did you know I'm a Specter? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. That's quick, though. It's crazy how fast word is going around. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Um... I won't do that. I'll do it now. Problem. Investigate. Investigate a bit more. Well, no crime. I could charge you. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. Hmm. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste and of time. And this is an obvious setup. I eliminate them, and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. Mm, are you sure? You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Okay, I'm, um, uh, interest. What do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Ah, okay, and defenses? What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Is she to be trusted? Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And that's it then, I guess. Mm. But it's something new. Oh, the shopkeeper over here. Let's just take a look at this shopkeeper then. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Hippodorium. I have personal question. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Um, there's no question, goods. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that... How much credits have I... I need to check how much credits I've got now. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire. For a price. Good, let's see what you got. I'd like to see these... I'll obviously check what we've, how much we've got credits-wise. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Human. You not be disappointed. Uh, oh, view upgrades. Okay, so we got... Okay, so we got 2,070. Commander, it is good to show me your items. Oh, this uh, one. Few standard really items. Oh, so, so standard. Damn, some of these are like really a lot. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Commander, it is good. Show me your items. Wait, oh, did I actually did, did, did I purchase so that? You will I think I did, but I just want to double check. Yeah, we did. Okay, and then we'll check the non-human armor. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to. This is, is fine because I need to like, I probably need to like... I remember the big one that's left here is resolving the dispute. But where would we buy the um... Buy 
time. Balabon. What's this? What of the Earth Clan? Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Um, have we met? You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I need help. I need information. I was told to talk to you. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Okay, uh, personal questions? Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Mm, okay, is this legal? Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Mm. Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. I don't buy it. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Okay then, I'm um, Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple double. This is like so, this sounds like somebody that we need to speak to. <laughs> if he wasn't so like Yet somehow we never hidden seems to upset a secret. the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. Well, you're his agent. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that. Okay, to you. and the Citadel. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. Okay, um, okay. I should go. Goodbye. Okay, that was an interesting um, conversation. Okay, so we are we are not. I mean, ideally, where would we actually go to get this? I mean, we do need to go to CSET, so we could always end up going there next. Um, there we go, CSET. Because I believe that's where they want us to go next.
Was it the requisite? I thought it was the requisition office. Was that it? One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That sure is. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Whatever I'm doing, um, no problem. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, wow. I mean, this is going to be like really, really like high stuff. That would be like great. But. Wow. Definitely be worth it when we like, when, when we get more currency and we're able to come back. Oh, there's like a blue wire tool through here for the Omni tool. That'd be good. Oh, ball guns away. Oh, shit. Okay. We've done that. So the next thing on this is... Explore 7. Um, okay, so we need to figure out where we need to go next, don't we? So, I thought it was like... Well... CSEC for the requisition office, which is something. Is it to the docking bay? In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why I'm going to imagine we can come back here. Was suddenly cut off last week. Company officials refused to comment. Ah, here, here we go. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Um, she's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well. Boss retirement. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. And it's not to this. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, sir. They were considering me for the Spectres. And um, what went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. He came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Condor. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferro's and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Condor okay, is. Okay, and what about the Weepers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Council May. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. Oh, where is she? We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara. Liara, Sony. okay. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Oh, um, I'll start with Ferros, I'll start there. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. 
Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. It might be necessary, I'll be careful, that's your job. I'll take care of Sarah. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I Well, it's, it's, it's the show. answer. Remember, you were a human long before you were a spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. He's such a charming fella. Yes, Commander. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. And you and Sarah never pass? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Senate. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance. Just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Okay, um, this doesn't matter. Why hide this? What happened? You lied to me. Why hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. And what happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of... Okay, so am I wrong? I'm guessing things didn't go as well. We all know what, don't we? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident. But I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Oh god, um, not so so extreme. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Shit! Mostly civilians. Oh! Saren didn't care. Target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Okay, um, wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Sarah. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Uh, forget about the pass. The only thing I care about is stopping Sarah. You're right, Commander. It's no good for you. Okay, um, investigate. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Ferros? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Okay, um, Novaria? What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back, Rich. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Okay, and then this one. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, so we'll just be able to come out then, I'm guessing. A 
Okay, so let's head back to our ship. Oh, did we just go across? Here. Oh yeah, I guess we do. And then enter the nomin day. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. And this feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now uh, let's keep this short. Now we do things my way. I need to be honest with them. Honesty. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Humanity must do its part. Eden Prime was just the start. So nobody's gonna help us. Saren will be ready for us. Um, Eden Prime was just the start. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Uh, humanity must do its part, Saren will be ready for us, nobody's gonna help us. Humanity must do its part. For too long our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Do this! Time to what show them speech. what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them too. We know that everybody's counting on us. We must not fail. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the. And we got like some new crew members too, so it's like awesome. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do that, but we're gonna save it there, and we are gonna call it there. This we ended on that speech from Commander Shepard, Spectre, Commander Shepard, and we're gonna call it there, buddy. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm I'm really in intrigued and interested to see where the rest of this story goes. Um, but thank you, everybody. Thank you uh, for popping over to Jim Bob Gaming. To watch the latest episode of Mass Effect. Um, if you're new here, we do we play all kinds. Everyone, we've we played through Final Fantasy VII Remake. We've done some Outlast trials. We've got some retrospectives on the way. Starting with Days Gone, we have also got. Um, we're probably gonna have some reactions somewhere down the world as well for gaming trailers, etc. Um, I'm trying to think what else we've got coming, everybody. We've also got coming um, some Dead by Daylight videos, gameplay. Um, so if any of that interests you, or story games in general, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button to let YouTube know that you like this kind of content. Comment down below. Tips, advice, any fond memories or experience from this game. You know, whatever. Let us know. We can have a nice conversation down in the comments. And don't forget to hit notification bell so you get alerted and notified when our next video on Jimbo Gaming goes live. So, thank you everybody for being here. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And that is Jimbo out. And we will see you all in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone.